Hi there, in this episode, I'm going to show you how to make two classic German desserts, which are super easy and super fun to make. On the one hand, a rice pudding, which Germans call Milchreis or milk rice, and a semolina pudding, which I'm going to pair with pears. If you want some more savory recipes, make sure to subscribe. Now I'll show you the Milchreis a little bit later, along with my secret little ingredient that I'm going to be using, but first to our semolina pudding bake. I got the recipe from my girlfriend's grandmother, Helga, who in turn got it from her mother. So it's a real old-timey dish from Lower Saxony in Germany. So you need half a litre of milk. I've gone for soy, but you can use whatever milk you want to use. Then some soft wheat semolina, or any kind of semolina you can get your hands on. Then sugar, about 50 grams. An egg, which is optional, and also a vanilla bean or any kind of vanilla flavoring that you want to use. And for our base, a pair of pears. So grab yourself a pot, and then we want to combine our half liter of milk with 50 grams of sugar. You can go sweeter if you want. I actually like it a little bit less intense. Then just set that aside for a moment because we're going to scrape out our vanilla bean. So that we're going to scrape up onto our knife and pop it into our pot here. So gently bring this to the boil and then we'll add our semolina. Once the milk is boiling, act quickly. You don't want it to burn. Just pop in the 70 grams of semolina and then reduce the heat as soon as you've done that. So once it's all in there, make sure the temperature goes right down and stir it steadily for five minutes. And you'll notice that the consistency gets thicker and thicker. Once it's nice and thick like this, you can just let it cool down before our next step. So before we add our egg yolk and egg white, let the semolina cool down thoroughly. You don't want the egg to curdle. What we're gonna do now is grab an oven proof dish. I've just used some coconut oil here that I'm gonna spread around to prevent anything sticking when we put our semolina pudding bake in here. Now for our base, I'm using a pair of pears, around 500 grams, maybe a little bit less once you've peeled them and cored them, um, but just see, depending on the size of your dish, what fits in. I'm using quite hard pears. They're not massively ripe because I want there to be a bit of bite in the bake, but you can go as soft as you like. And I'm gonna go for maybe a quarter or an eighth sort of size. And you can line your tray with the pears. So now our semolina pudding has cooled down and it's really set, it's quite thick. So we're gonna add an egg, which I will divide first. Crack your egg and slowly let the egg white come out and just sort of trade the egg yolk between shells. My egg yolk is going to go straight in here. It's already getting white, but you want it to go nice and stiff. And one trick is to add a pinch of salt if it's not really working. Get as much air as you can into the egg white. So you can kind of tell by looking at it when it's ready, but another trick is just to do this. Nothing is falling off, so we can fold that into our mix now. Just carefully fold that in, and you'll notice straight away that the consistency is getting a lot smoother now. So if you don't want to use an egg, just use more liquid, and you'll get a sort of similar texture. Once the consistency is right, I'm gonna pop it onto our pears. So once everything's smoothed over, pop it into your oven, not preheated, and set it to 180 degrees on a fan setting. 
While our semolina pudding baker's in the oven, let's make some German rice pudding. And as I mentioned in Germany, we call it Milchreis or milk rice. So pretty straightforward. We need milk and then some rice. So this is a short grain rice, but you can use whatever type of rice you want to use. And let me know in the comments what you do use in your country for rice pudding. Then also just a little bit of sugar and some cinnamon. And you can use a vanilla bean like I did for the semolina pudding, but wow, I just balanced that cinnamon. I don't even know how I did that. My secret ingredient contains some vanilla flavoring, which is vanilla pudding powder. I know it seems kind of strange. We're not making ready-made vanilla pudding, which is what this is usually for. But if you mix it in, it does kind of help with that consistency. It's optional, but it's a really nice tip. So we'll combine all our ingredients, apart from the pudding powder, in our pot. So 125 grams of the rice. And then you want four parts of milk to that. So half a liter here. 30, 40 grams of sugar. You can adjust that to your own preference. And one stick of cinnamon. Right, and really simple, let's just bring that to the boil now on our stove. So once it's started cooking, just make sure you keep stirring and then you can reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 20 minutes and also let it sit for loads of time. Some people even just cook it for five minutes and then hide it under their bed. So just do whatever you have time for. So near the end of our simmering time, when the rice hasn't fully thickened up yet, I'm going to put in just a teaspoon of the vanilla pudding powder, completely optional. You don't have to do this. And vanilla pudding powder here in Germany may be similar to a custard powder that you know in your country. Now, because my German rice pudding is really smooth, silky and sweet, I want to pair it with something with a little bit of pizzazz I'm gonna make a compote out of rhubarb and you need about one part sugar to two parts rhubarb because it is really sour and tangy, but just figure out your own sweet spot. So just cut off the ends and then pull along any fibrous bits that you might have so you don't get any rough chewy. Combine your rhubarb with your sugar. Then, just to spice it up a little bit. Take half an orange and squeeze the juices in there. So let that simmer and soften for about 10 minutes and you'll have a gorgeous companion to your Milchreis. After 20 to 30 minutes, this is just simply lovely. Here are our two finished desserts. The rice pudding has sat for a while now and it's got really thick and creamy and you can still see the single grains of rice but it's all bound together by the starch. Beautiful flavors from the cinnamon as well. And now our semolina pudding bake. See that golden brown color and all that vanilla in there as well. And then on the bottom, amazing, beautiful pears. Wonderful stuff. Let's get it plated up. So the semolina pudding has this sort of skin on top. I'm going to just try carefully preserve. So let me know which of these two desserts you might try at home. Milchreis mit Rhabarber Kompott oder Grease pudding auflauf mit Birnen. And for more savory dishes and plenty of German flavors, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>